Hi, I'm Mark Clement, and welcome to Drill Driver 101. Probably the most underused and maybe even misunderstood feature on a drill driver is the clutch setting. Much like the clutch in your car, the clutch on a cordless drill driver engages and disengages the drivetrain. The lower the number on the clutch, the sooner or with the least amount of resistance, the drill driver is going to disengage from the drivetrain. Here's an extreme example. I'm going to take this screw and drive it into this hunk of 4x4 Douglas fir. I've got the clutch set to 1, which means that's going to deliver the least amount of power to the fastener. Now I can crank it up a little higher, and I can drive the fastener a little closer to the surface of the work without bottoming out the screw. Bring it a little closer until I get it just where I want it. Where I really get the most mileage out of my clutch is when I'm setting door hardware or other decorative pieces where overdriving the screw risks damaging two things. One, the hardware itself, for example, a hinge like this. Second, it risks damaging the fastener itself. These little tiny screws, especially decorative slot head screws like this, are notoriously soft metal. So I've pre-drilled here already a pilot hole. Now, having set the drill driver to its lowest setting, I know I'm at low risk for overdriving this fastener. And there we go, it's already disengaging. So now I can sneak up on the exact right torque setting I need to get this installed securely without damaging it money. Thanks for watching Tool School. Now you can be a clutch player.